A tough team, tough-minded team, knew they would be good uh, and hard to play against, and they were. You know, so got a lot of respect for them, the coaching staff, their team. It's obviously going to be a dogfight going back up there. So uh, proud of our guys, great poise. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a 40-minute game. It certainly was that. What? Uh, what did it take to keep answering when they're they're pushing you late? They they cut it to yeah. one at one point. What did it take to to keep finding a way? Yeah, you know, I thought uh, the offensive rebound there off Bruce's three was was big. You know, and then converting that lob, uh, great pass, and feel it, or uh, Evan, great finish. Um, you know, I thought uh, Roddy stepping up and making that three. We we didn't have a whole lot going that possession, so he stepped up and made that three. Um, you know, I thought there were stretches of the last five minutes where they got to their spots um, and we allowed them to get to their spots and we had trouble getting to ours and we got to correct that, um, Adam. Uh, I think physically we just have to play with more force um, in those situations, both offensively and defensively. That's my initial take after kind of thinking through. But uh, our guys have, you know, the sign of this team has been really good poise um, for the most part down the stretch and uh, they showed that. How do you get more physicality? We got to work on it, and we got to show them on tape where they got pushed off their spots. Um, we tried to run a few things, and they were blowing it up, and that can't happen. So we, we've just got to correct that. We've got to show it to them on tape, and they've got to run better lead cuts uh, than what they ran because we need to be able to get the ball to where we want to get it to. Uh, they can't blow up and deny uh, passes. We had a good back cut on the one where Roddy kind of lost his footing, but um, we've got to be better with that. Jamison became the first player to hit five threes in, in three straight games here since John Diebler um, tonight um, and you know did it with his first five shots. Just What have you seen from him to really find that consistency and really start – I mean, he's, he's been shooting the yeah. heck out of the ball lately. Yeah, I just think comfort level. He's got a real comfort level with now having some games under his belt. I just think he knows kind of where the shots are coming from. He knows what we expect. Um I just I think his he, he's just much more comfortable, you know. Typically, it takes transfers a minute. Um, in his case, maybe he's gotten there a little bit quicker just because he's such a natural, naturally gifted um, scorer. On that five for five start tonight from outside. You know, he talked about uh, not letting misses or makes really uh, affect his approach too much. You know, and, and watching him, I, it never feels like he's a guy who has really like a heat check shot, like a shot he forces when he's when he's got when he's started hot from three. Uh, is is that a sense you get? And I guess what does it say about a player's mentality to stay in the flow of the offense even yeah. if they're hot shooting? Yeah, he plays well within the flow. Um, He'll have a heat check moment every now and then, which I'm okay with. Um, but uh, he he plays well within the flow. He doesn't he doesn't force things. We we had some unbelievable offensive possessions in the first half. I mean that that one was was as good of an offensive possession as you're going to see. It, yeah yeah, it was beautiful possession. We had a lot of those. We had some great paint decisions in the first half. Now we made almost every open shot in the first half. And we missed a couple of those in the second half, and that's college basketball. So you have to really rely on our, our defense and other things. Uh, but we did, we did miss some in the second half that we were making in the first half. Uh, Chris, with Roddy, you mentioned, I think, earlier in the week on your radio show, you had the conversation with Bruce in game about who should take those free throws. You mentioned yeah. Bruce was like, well, he's a good closer. Roddy is. Um, what have you he, seen he, from Roddy? In that game, I don't know if he – did he say that in here? Is that what he said? Oh, or? no. I think okay. it's just something you said on the radio No, show. No, I don't, I don't think I used those words, but I did say um, I think he felt like at that game he just was in a good rhythm. Right. And he wanted – he was like, hey, let, let Roddy shoot him. Right. Along the same vein, I guess, what makes Roddy be able to close games like this? And, and what have you seen from him kind of emerging in, in that kind of role? Um, have you watched him? <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't get real high. He doesn't get real low. And um, there is an element of that that um, – uh, players need in those situations you know he just the moment's not too big for him he doesn't you know I'm not saying everybody who plays with great emotion you know can struggle late in games I'm just saying he's got a real evenness to how he plays and I think he's also he knows he's a good player and growing into a good player and I think that confidence and belief is a good thing for Felix I know like this matchup you guys face Cliff every year it's one of the better big men yeah in the Big Ten, um, what have you seen from Felix in terms of matching up against some of these guys? I know it's early in Big Ten play, but 
what have you seen from a matchup like this? Yeah, he got beat a couple times opening play of the second half. He can't get face cut. Um, um, I think he um, he's got a lot of respect for Cliff, so I think he had his 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 he was high, high attention. Um, I think he's getting better. The weight has helped. Um, Cliff's um, he's just so good on both ends, uh, particularly defensively. Um, so I, you know, I, I just think he's growing in his ability to defend the post and defend guys like that. Coach, all week you said you thought it'd be a close game. Yeah. At the end, you got up 17. I was worried he might be wrong there for a second. Congratulations yeah. on being right. Yeah. Um, so what was it about every time you guys get together, the buzzer beater last year, OT at their place. Yeah. What is it about these guys that you just know yeah. it's going to somehow come down to it? Well, they play with great spirit. They just, they really do. And it's, it's you know, heart whatever you want to call it they, they really play um just with a, a great a great competitiveness to them it's also early in big 10 play teams are fighting for their lives right now um so very rarely are you going to see you know games there might be a couple that get away but most are not you know most are going to be relatively close um you know i think for us, uh, we, we really felt like it was going to be a game that was going to come down to the last five or six minutes, and you know, in some ways, it did. Um, I, I just think they they've got a good team; they can score the ball. Uh, they've got a lot of guys that can score the ball, and uh, when they're making shots, their defense allows them to stay in a lot of games. I'm talking about Cliff for a second, he's been in the league for a few years now. Yeah, and I think he only got six shots off tonight. So how? I guess, how good do you think you guys did denying him, not just Felix and Zed, but your other guys making it tough to even get an entry into him? I think we did a, a, a good job, a good job. Zed and Felix both did a good job. I will tell you this, they're playing more through their guards now than maybe what they played. They've got more guys coming off ball screens, you know, um, so he's not as much the focal point. Their post-up percentage, when you you know, as we were scouting them, when you go back and you look at the numbers, their post-up percentages are much lower than what they were last year. So generally, they're playing less as a post-up team, which is true in most of college basketball, and more through their guards. And that was probably a byproduct. Uh, yeah, you talked a lot about like the late game execution with maybe the more like, guard-heavy lineup. Um, so I guess like, what did you see? maybe on those last couple of plays, especially like on the out-of-bounds plays where uh, I know Roddy missed that one free throw, but do you think you guys got maybe good looks? And, uh, yeah, I liked our that? execution there. We got it, Bruce, we got Bruce to the foul line. We wanted to get Bruce to the foul line. We got it quickly to Roddy. Dale made a good read. Um, yeah, I really liked our execution in those situations. Um, I, I really did. Um, I was glad we held the timeout late because they blew up one of our actions. That's why we had to change the end of game. So I, I was good with that. Uh, I thought we were really clean in that, that execution. I thought we were clean fouling uh, at the end of the first half. So I thought we had some clean execution defensively and offensively. I just didn't, we weren't able to get to our spots as much in the last four minutes like we need to be. And then, quick one, is Roddy like, is he fine? Is, is he just a little sore? I know he went out Did of the game for happen? a bit. Yeah, he, 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 he was yeah, he came. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. You talked about that possession uh, where you moved the ball well. You, you guys did that several times. Yeah. Why was that able to happen tonight, especially when you talked about how good Rutgers is defensively? Yeah, I think they're in rotation quite a bit with the way they collapse on, on the, in the paint. So you're, you're going to be able to spray it. Your paint reads uh, have to be really good. Uh, your paint and your rim reads because of the, the shot blocking of Cliff. So we really focused on our paint and our rim reads being pretty good. We were able to do that and get them in rotation. Um, now this is an unselfish team. I believe we've got an unselfish group and it's led by an unselfish leader. When your best players are unselfish, naturally the rest of your team just kind of has to play that way. So I, I really believe that's who this group is and uh, um, our guys have bought into that. And I know you said you thought it may take Jameson a little bit as a transfer, but when you were kind of putting this roster together, did you kind of envision him, Bruce, and Roddy as kind of the, the big three, so to, speak, to, you know, to use an NBA term, uh, uh, for this team and other guys kind of filling in spots? Yeah, coaches will never use that term. Um, that's, that's for media people. Find media people like you guys. You can label that and put monikers on groups, and that's fine. Um, 
yeah, we just felt like he was a, he was a needed addition with what we were losing scoring, and he's been he's been everything we we'd hope. Honestly, um, I think his rebounding. I didn't love our offensive rebounding tonight. We got to get back to doing that better, um, and our transition defense has to get better. But uh, yeah, he's been he's been everything we'd hoped. Any other ones? A couple more. Uh, yeah, just uh, for Saturday. Um, yeah. What I guess? What are you looking to see from your team on the road here? Yeah. It's, it's your first true road test since that Penn State game. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the, uh, the purpose we play with, um, the the um, readiness that we play with. We all know what that environment is at Assembly Hall. Um, it's a good team. I think they're playing Nebraska right now at Nebraska. So it's going to be a great test. Uh, they're a good team. It's a tremendous environment. Saturday night, it's going to be sold out, you know. So we just need to have a real readiness of preparation and a readiness of play. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a great test. But what is your overall vibe coming out of this game? Good. Good? Yeah, really good. Yeah, feel, feel uh, a challenge, Adam, to, to get us better um, in some of those areas I talked about. Um, uh, feel challenged and motivated to get us better in those areas, but feel really good about our poise, uh, really good about some of the offensive plays we've had in the first half, really good about some of the, the, the defensive stuff we had. I just, I think we need to clean up some things, but I feel, you know, really good. Did you want me to feel worse than that? No, I was just trying to get a feel, a feel like you didn't okay. seem quite as excited as no, you would I'm, about I'm, a win. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll smile bigger, but um, yeah, <laughs> I, I feel. I, yeah, I, 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 you know, I think as a coach, you generally are probably weighing a little bit of like, hey, we got to get better in these areas, and sometimes that comes across probably more that my focus is that. But I feel really good. I feel really good. And I, I did want to ask you about Bruce shaking off some early turnovers. He yeah. had turned the ball over like that all season. He has three in the first couple of minutes. But then yeah. what did you see from him? Just doing a better job of not doing that. Yeah, he's so sure-handed. You know, the, the challenge for us, Adam, is we've been we've been really encouraging him to look at the – he's gotten hedged now the last probably eight games. So we've been challenging him to get the ball out of his hands, look at the rim, and we just have to get better at that. You know, we have to get better at attacking the hedge than, 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 uh, than what we're doing right now because he's seeing it every game right now. You know, really since the Alabama game, it's all he's seen for the most part. I know you said that you're expecting Assembly Hall to be crazy loud, sold out, all those things. Have you also gotten assurances from them that nothing's going to be falling from the ceiling yeah. this year on oh, your guys? Man. Yeah. How many of you were there last year? I'm sure several of you were. That was a scary moment. That was a scary moment. Um, no, I'm assuming that they're on point with the scoreboard not falling on anybody. So anything else, guys? All right. Take care.